Ames Department Store began in 1958 when two Connecticut brothers, Milton and Irvin Gilbert and Philbert Philman, opened their first store in the Ames Worcester Textile Mill in Talos Bridge. The Gilman and, and Furman simply used the old sign of the textile mill for the new business in 1971. The stores were replaced with modern stores in South Bridge, Stur Bridge, Massachusetts, second store in October 1959 in South Johnsbury, Vermont. This is from Wikipedia right here. During the years of Ames, there is a lot of acquisitions from Zares and more. When Ames first opened, there was only a couple locations. Ames was basically Walmart of the time. At one point, there was talks of Ames buying Kmart, but that never came into fruition. Here's the classic Ames logo, red logo, that they had until they acquired the Hills chain in 1999. And then, then they turned to the Turquoise logo as seen right here. They still have the red cards from their previous logo. I got this back to us, but they 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 bought the Big N from the Nestor's brothers Big N department stores before they bought Zares. They bought Zares in 1988. As one of their first failures because Zeres was already a failing company when they bought them. And this is the only photo I could find of the <coughs> of the Big End department store, but they bought the Big End department store before they bought Zares in 1988, so it was probably around 1980 or something. And then they bought Hills in 1999 as their second bankruptcy because Hills was our, also a they bought Hills is also a failing chain, and then they bought remaining of the Caldor locations and turned them into Ames, and also Bradley's. And Ames short 60-something <coughs> years, they were once a popular chain until Walmart and Target started to populate the Northeast, and Ames started to go. Ames closed in 2002 after a long run of the